advanced in, in the last class. Uh, we have defined what is an autonomous system. So by autonomous system, that mean uh, we mean that's a system of the form uh, dx by dt equal to uh, f of x y, and we have dy by uh, dt equal to uh, g of x y, where f and g are continuous function, and they have uh, continuous first order uh, partial derivatives. So the system of uh, that form, you know, this form is called an autonomous system. Uh, then um, here x and dx by uh, dt they are called uh, the state of the system or they are called the uh, phases of the system and um, the plane which is uh, formed by the variables x and y or x or dx by dt they are called uh, the phase plane. Uh, now in today's class uh, we will look into what do we mean by uh, the solution of an autonomous system then uh, we look at what is called a path or trajectory of an autonomous system and then we will define uh, what is called a uh, critical uh, point. So uh, using this critical points we basically uh, study about the autonomous system or we will get an idea about the solution of the autonomous system. So we will autonomous system in the explicit title the solution can do it uh, easy Allah. So uh, we are going to look at using this functions f and g alone how can we uh, describe the solution of the autonomous system from we are given this equation of the form dx by dt equal to f and dy by dt equal to g from f and then g then behavior and function and then solution like a solution a particular description form so uh, that is the idea of our uh, study so for that we will analyze what is called the uh, critical points. So in today's class we will define uh, how do we get the uh, critical points. So first we will start with what is the solution and uh, then we will arrive with what is called uh, critical points. So that is what we will be uh, doing in today's class. So in the last class we have seen uh, what is phase. So we have defined autonomous system then we have seen phase and we have seen uh, the phase plane and now um, here we have t as a uh, parameter now if t is considered as a parameter then by solution we mean uh, that is a pair of functions uh, x equal to x of t so that's a pair of functions x equal to x of t and y equal to y of t which satisfies our given system so when t is regarded as a parameter then uh, in a general solution of the system, uh, so it is a pair of functions x of t and y of t uh, defining a curve uh, in the xy plane or uh, which is our phase plane. Okay. Uh, now, uh, let us, so a solution is of the uh, form a pair of functions x equal to x of t and y equal to y of t. Now, uh, let us define what is a path or trajectory or orbit okay, uh, for an autonomous system. Ne, uh, here t is a parameter and as t varies uh, x, y, uh, the points x, y is obtained. So the points x, y will uh, trace uh, some curve in the x, y plane which uh, changes according with the value of t. Um, depending on the value of t, we will get the values of x and y and the path or uh, the locus of these points x y is called as a path or orbit or uh, trajectory. So uh, the oriented locus of the points x t y t in the phase plane uh, form from the solution of a given two dimensional autonomous system is called as a path or orbit or uh, trajectory. So as t varies uh, now normal oriented locus in the sense uh, we will be plotting this points uh, x y as uh, t uh, increases. So uh, when t increases uh, we will get for each t the values of x and y. So the uh, curve traced by uh, these points. So it will be a directed curve. So the directed curve traced by these points uh, uh, with respect to the value of t uh, 
is called as a path orbital trajectory. So, the orientated locus of the points x, y in the face plane is called uh, path. Uh, so, uh, uh, a path is a directed curve in the face plane uh, in which uh, we use arrows to indicate the direction in which the path is traced out as t increases. So, as t increases, we will get a directed curve in the uh, face plane. So, we will be uh, using uh, the terms path orbital trajectory uh, to uh, define this solution curve. Now, uh, then you have an autonomous system of the form dx by dt equal to f of x y and dy by uh, dt equal to uh, g of x y. So, here f and g satisfies this condition. So, f and g are continuous and they have continuous first order partial derivatives. Uh, now, if uh, x equal to x of t uh, in, uh, in uh, the beginning of uh, this uh, module we have seen uh, that when you have an equation of this form uh, dx by dt equal to f of xy and uh, dy by dt equal to g of xy then uh, if you have uh, the initial value problem of this form. So, if you have x at t naught equal to x naught and y at t naught equal to y naught then uh, there will be a unique solution which uh, satisfies this condition. Means uh, there is a trajectory or path which pass through every point x0, y0 in the phase plane. So, I can take uh, my uh, condition to be x at t0 equal to x0, y at t0 equal to y0. So, this x0, y0 can be any arbitrary point in the uh, phase plane. So, corresponding to any x0, y0, uh, there will be a solution curve which passes through the x0, y0. So, uh, for a given uh, autonomous system, so we can find the path or trajectory which passes through every point in the uh, phase plane. So there is uh, a path or trajectory uh, which uh, passes through each point x0, y0 in the uh, phase plane. Uh, so uh, this uh, is true by the fact that every initial value problem will have a unique solution. So this uh, comes by the existence and uniqueness theorem of uh, such a system of equation. So, if you have dx by dt equal to f of x y and dy by dt equal to g of x y. So, if it is continuous, if they are continuous and they have continuous first order partial derivatives, uh, then uh, the initial value problem x at t not equal to x not and y at t not equal to uh, y not uh, will have a unique solution. So, uh, corresponding to each solution, we will be uh, obtaining trajectory which is passing through the point x0, y0. So, corresponding to each condition, we will be obtaining a uh, trajectory uh, which passes through x0, y0. If uh, we have a solution curve x equal to x of t and uh, y equal to y of t, then for any arbitrary constant c, so if c is any real number, then uh, the functions x equal to x of t plus c and y equal to uh, y of t plus c will also be a solution of the system with x equal to x of t, y equal to y of t solution on angle. Uh, if you take any translation, so uh, you are translating uh, the functions uh, by, uh, so t by uh, unit c. So, uh, the new set of functions x equal to x of t plus t, uh, t plus c, y equal to y of t plus c uh, will also be solution of the equation dx by dt equal to f of xy and dy by dt equal to uh, g of xy. So, uh, this is actually uh, a curve uh, which is similar to x equal to x of t and y equal to uh, y of t. We are simply just uh, translating uh, the curve uh, by uh, c units. Apo, um, oro, uh, solution uh, their uh, shapes will be uh, similar. So, you are uh, just uh, translating the uh, solution curves. So, uh, when the uh, solutions are plotted, the solutions are related uh, uh, to one another. So, that means there will be uh, translations of uh, each other. Therefore, the two trajectories uh, or the two paths will have the same graph, uh, but uh, uh, for each graph x equal to x of t and y x equal to x of t y equal to y of t and 
for the graph of x equal to x of t plus c, y equal to y of t plus c, they will arrive at a given point at different times. So, uh, they will be passing through some arbitrary point for different uh, t values. That is uh, because they are uh, translated up a uh, point. Uh, so, if you uh, take a fixed point, uh, these two curves will be passing through a particular fixed point at different times. Now, uh, let us go on to what is called a uh, critical point. And now, in the uh, coming session of the module, we will be analyzing uh, the solutions of the autonomous system will be using uh, critical uh, points. So, uh, we can analyze the critical points depending on the nature of uh, the critical uh, points. And the critical points can be uh, classified into uh, different types. So, using this behavior, will uh, make an analysis on uh, the solution of the autonomous system. So, let us uh, start with the autonomous system of the form uh, dx by dt equal to f of xy and uh, dy by dt equal to uh, g of xy. Now, by critical point, we mean uh, there are points where uh, x is equal to 0 and g equal to 0. So, the equations must be uh, satisfied uh, simultaneously. So, a point x0, y0 is said to be a critical point if f at x0, y0 equal to 0 and uh, g at y0, x0, y0 must be equal to 0. So, both must be uh, equal to 0. So, for example, if you have a system of the form uh, dx by dt equal to f of xy and dy by dt equal to, sorry, dx by dt equal to x plus y and dy by dt equal to x minus y, uh, then critical points are obtained by solving for the equation x plus y equal to 0 and x minus y equal to 0. Uh, now, as you can see, if you add both equations, you will get x equal to 0. And when x is 0, y will be equal to 0. So, uh, the critical point here is x y equal to uh, 0, 0. So, uh, point x naught y naught which satisfies a condition f at x naught y naught equal to 0 and uh, g at x0, y0 equal to 0 uh, is called a critical point. We will uh, look at what is an isolated critical point. Uh, now, uh, a critical point is said to be isolated. So, uh, you can find a neighborhood such that it contains no other uh, critical point. So, a critical point x0, y0 uh, is said to be isolated. So, if there is a uh, circle, so we are taking uh, a plane so, the neighborhoods will be in the form of circles. So, if there exists a circle centered at x0, y0, uh, that contains no other critical point. So, such a uh, point x0, y0 is said to be an isolated uh, critical uh, point. Now, uh, we will be uh, analyzing uh, more about the uh, critical points in the uh, following class. Now, depending on uh, the behavior of the critical points, we will look at the uh, form of solution of the uh, autonomous system. So, we will be uh, mainly looking at uh, what are the critical points of the system and now uh, when you uh, take an autonomous system, we paths and the define So, the paths can actually uh, approach to this critical points or they need not pass through this critical point sometimes. Sometimes they can approach to the critical points that means as uh, t tends to infinity or t tends to minus infinity your x can approach to x naught along y can approach to y naught or it can actually uh, enter through the uh, critical points uh, or um, so it can uh, come near to the critical points or go away from the uh, critical points. So, uh, we will look at how to uh, classify uh, these things. So, we will mainly look at what is the behavior of our solution curve uh, near this uh, critical uh, points. So, uh, uh, we will look at the arrangement of paths near the critical points, stability or instability of critical points. That is, uh, whether a particle near such a point remains near. So, if uh, the path is going towards a critical point or wanders off to another point uh, of the plane and also we look at there are whether there are uh, clothes paths 